it's Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, God Bless America, and our scripture is Joshua chapter 24. So fear the Lord and serve Him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. For those of us who look at history as the unfolding of God's plan and purpose, The winds of nations rushing toward a collision course with disaster are unmistakable. No nation, especially a powerful and greatly blessed nation, exists for its own glory or to carry out its own plans. The greatness of our or any country depends on the adherence of the people to the principles of righteousness and faith toward God. Long ago, chaplain of the U.S. Senate Richard Halverson said, A democracy cannot exist as a permanent form of government. It can only exist until the voters discover that they can vote themselves money from the public treasury. From that moment on, the majority always votes for candidates promising the most benefits from the public treasury, with the result that a democracy always collapses over loose fiscal policy, always followed by a dictatorship. That dictatorship may be disguised in the form of a multi-trillion dollar national deficit. The average of the world's greatest civilizations has been 200 years. These nations have progressed through the following sequence, from bondage to spiritual faith, from spiritual faith to great courage, from courage to liberty, from liberty to abundance, from abundance to selfishness from selfishness to complacency, from complacency to apathy, from apathy to dependence, and from dependence back into bondage. It would be ridiculous for anyone to say we do not fit this pattern. We've traveled far down the road from the courage and unselfishness of our revolutionary forefathers to the present day with its entitlement mentality. We, as in all generations past, face the constant threat of judgments, both natural and spiritual. Joshua took over the leadership of God's people when Moses' time was done. He led a bunch of former slaves over Jordan to conquer Palestine. They'd come out of the bondage of Egypt to become the people of God, wealthy, powerful, feared, and respected by every nation on earth. It was the hand of God that gave Israel everything, just as it was the hand of God that formed the land of the free and home of the brave. We sing, God bless America, and then chills run up and down our spines. Some tremble out of nostalgic sentiment. We simply wish for the way it used to be. Still others use that sentiment to manipulate a popularity that carries them into public office. But if you tremble and your heart is stirred in fear and holy reverence toward a God who put his blessed hand on our nation and who, if he so chooses, could remove that hand and watch us fold up like a spider stuck in the belly, well, then you tremble aright and with good cause. It means you've chosen to honor and reverence sovereign God. That is a choice that will truly bless America. For you today, as Joshua challenged Israel to choose honoring the Lord over the culture in which they would shortly find themselves, we also must choose between what may be popular and that which is right in God's sight. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.